Hello, this is Mindy from The Weekend Gardener, and today I'd like to show you how to do a soil percolation test. Now you may wonder, why in the world do you need a soil percolation test? Well, believe it or not, you can have the most ideal location for a particular type of plant material that you want to plant in your yard. You can have the correct soil, the correct pH, the correct amount of sunlight, but you can have poor drainage. And you really can't see it unless the water is sitting on top of the soil surface. So I'm going to show you a very simple DIY soil percolation test. The first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to dig a hole. Now not just any hole. You want a hole deep enough that it encompasses the root zone of whatever plant material you want to plant. As an example, if you want to plant a tree, you want to make sure that that hole is deep enough to cover that root mass. In other words, dig the hole for the tree, but do not plant the tree. The same applies if you want to plant a perennial. So I think you finally got the idea of how deep the hole needs to be. The next thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to fill that hole with water. So that's what I'm going to do right here. Just going to pour water into the hole. Fill it all the way up to the top. Now you need to do this during a, a dry period in your region. Don't do it right after it rains because it's really going to give you a false reading as to how quickly your uh, soil drains. So you need to come back in an hour and look to see how much water has actually percolated down through the soil. Now if you have really clay soils or really sandy soils, that's going to affect the results right away. Clay soils are going to hold that water, sandy soils in an hour that water is going to be gone. So that's a key tip. So if you come back in an hour and the water hasn't really moved down through the soil, check every few hours. You will find that it may even take up to three days before that water actually percolates all the way down through the hole. The longer period it takes the water to move through the soil profile, the less likely you have good drainage. So just keep that in mind. So the next time you go to uh, dig a hole and plant a plant, make sure that you know the percolation rate of your soil. So until we meet in the garden again, this has been Mindy from The Weekend Gardener.